Okay, uh, it is about a half hour later. I've moved the vehicle back into the garage, and my last three issues that I want to document before um, getting ready to put her on the ship to send her back stateside. The brakes, uh, when they get warm, um, hot actually, they uh, they get really uh, as if the rotors are warped. But when they cool down, almost no issue. But uh, boy, when they get hot, they they definitely start acting kind of crazy. So um, I know the performance package usually just upgrades the pads, I believe. But uh, I think the Autobahn. Um, has definitely taken its toll on the on the braking system on that, so I definitely want to have that taken a look at and go from there. And then since we're right here, another uh, paint adhesion issue that we're looking at is right here under the front left driver's side LED running light or whatever this thing is called, uh, parking light or whatever. And underneath the silver there, it started to come off the uh, the plastic backing on that. Yeah, the other side appears to be okay at this point. Um, I don't believe this to be chip issues because I do have a few chip issues. Um, the the paint is definitely taking a beating on the front end and uh, more so on the hood. Uh, I've added a um, hood spoiler here or bug deflector, whatever you want to call it. And but unfortunately not before. There's uh, there's a pretty good significant chip here here. If you look also on the wiper arm there, it's taken a few hits. Although I'll uh, take that over the glass any day. The vehicle had 200 miles on it and I took a uh, stone chip here and within 24 hours the it had spread clear across to the center section of the glass and it was extremely expensive to have replaced. So uh, I'll definitely take that chip there any day of the week. And then um, trying to think of there was one other issue that I was concerned about at that that oh clunky in the front end right? that's why I guess I saved this for the um, the very end I know Alzheimer's is kicking in go figure uh, I'm starting to get a clunk from the front end when I turn uh, it feels like a ball joint but it doesn't and it seems to change in sound and uh, uh, duration depending on if I have my foot on the brake. So I think it, this, again, could be going back to the brake issue um, when they get hot. But then again, it, it does it when I'm turning, uh, especially specifically at a stop. And if I put my foot on the brake, that seems to change it. So I believe it's more pad-related as um, a ball joint would give you a, a different feeling. And it would happen more and more as you're, you're driving along as well because anything that requires a steering and then the shifting of the weight of the car in that steering process can cause it to... to um, clunk. So, some kind of a clunk from the front end, uh, more driver side than the passenger, but uh, definitely getting noticeable. So, I definitely want to have that looked at.